Greetings. It is now August 21st and... 31st. Whoa. 31st. Thank you. I meant to say that. I don't feel like... I, I haven't made a lot of videos because I don't feel like there's a lot else to say about the garden. Um, we've just been eating a ton of excellent, delicious vegetables. And you can see right here, these leaves have been hit by cold. Over here's another example. These... Oh, that one just fell there. But these winter squash have been hit by a little bit of... That didn't frost, but they just got too cold. These are really nice winter squash if they get ripe. Um, but we've just been harvesting and eating a ton of carrots, cabbage, peas, cucumbers, tomatoes, and everything. The stuff that's underground, of course, can wait longer, so I haven't dug my potatoes uh, yet, but like potatoes, red beets, carrots, the tops can frost off before they need to really be pulled. Have beautiful flowers, we got beautiful sunflowers as you can see. That's been a lot of fun. These broccoli keep producing more and more. I've picked gallons of broccoli off of here on these six plants. Um, Your bacon salad broccoli oh, yeah, is we, astounding. We love bar broccoli bacon salad. Um, let's see what else. We've dried a lot of mint and stevia. And when the mint goes to seed, I kind of let it go to seed in the garden and it'll come up all over next year. And here's stevia. Joanna always picks a leaf and sucks on it because it's sweet. I mulched uh, my garden, my... Uh, the delphiniums I cut down, that's one thing we have to do with those in fall, is cut those down. And uh, I put that nice mulch down around them. And you leave the clippings there to... I just throw them there for somewhere to throw them. Do the seeds propagate over they there? They will. Probably not in that jungle. But they will... You could save the seed and plant them, but you can also just dig a plant. And I feel like you're a lot further ahead if you split off part of a plant and, and grow it. So, yeah, not a lot to say there. I just, I've frozen what I need to. I'm going to can some soup yet, but I'm almost done my canning and freezing. And this is a way that I'm, we have spent a lot of hours thinking about how to do this, and I, I really don't know if this is going to work. But I'm digging a very deep hole to try to have a, to store crops in there, like a root cellar. And so. How deep is this? That's five feet deep so far. And I want to go about seven, at least seven. Actually, it's five and a half. I want to go to seven. And um, we'll see if that works. I'm going to insulate around the top. And I'm working on it. Still a work in progress. But we, the proper way to do it would have been to put a root cellar in our house when we built it. But we didn't. And so here we are experimenting. Here you are. Here I am You've done all the work. And then you're just distributing... Um, <clears throat> Like uh, the Great Escape, you're just taking the dirt yeah, and, the hard part is getting into the dirt and uh, the spreading escape. it around. Yep. Well, tell us how it goes with the yeah. the um, see. the um, yeah. So this winter we'll be able to know. Oh, did you get it, Hank? Did you get it? He is the best mouse hunter ever. We just missed him jumping from there to there instantly. That's so cute. Yep, so